Where's the lobby? Go see our room. We've never stayed here before. So be interesting. All right, so here we go. Check out our room. It's just a basic king room. It's got a decent, but nice size shower. And look, there's my stool. So I'm very happy about that. Shampoos and conditioners. And then you walk in to the main room and it's got a nice size king bed. It is spacious and it's very clean, I will say that. A little coffee area, I like to have coffee, a little desk, so I like that. That is the closet. They're getting chintzier and chintzier with their closets these days. And then there is where you walk over to the casino because we're in Louisiana. So it's got to be on the water. So that's the riverboat. Um, and then the casino right over there. The concert. A little gift shop in here. Little things you forget. Everybody's ready for Mardi Gras. All right. Let's go check out the casino. This is a nice little place, huh? There's the sports book. PJ's Cafe. Like all pin properties we've been to, they have a great fireplace. Neat place, I hope it pays. Pretty nice little sports book. In here. Okay, we are eating at the sports book, and we got some, what well, looks like egg rolls, but it is not. It is a Cajun country to the roll up, and then we got a flatbed bread pizza that is um, actually boudin as well. It's got um, crumble boudin, fresh jalapeno, yuri, bacon, Large milk and caramel onion. You want to taste it, Mike? Tell us how it is. Years. You know, he craved that coaching, wanted to be Bush, lived in the gym. And that is still yummy. Is it good? Can you taste the boudin on it? Yeah. Yeah, he was craving boudin since we're in Louisiana. So here we go. I will try the Dan Egg Roll. It's really good. It has good and cheese in it. It's good. 
Mike put $140 in this machine. Yes, it's a 962. Hey everybody, I thought this was a great way to showcase pin entertainment properties to show you guys. So this is the Lake Charles, Louisiana Resort. And then you have River City Casino in St. Louis, Missouri. And then they have Margaritaville in Bossier City, Louisiana. And then the Big M Resort and Spa in Las Vegas, Nevada. And then they also have the Samaristar, which you saw us play at in Blackhawk, Colorado. Um, and then of course, the Boomtown in New Orleans. And then we are here today that's not pictured, which is the um, La Berge in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. All right, everybody. So that is a wrap for our one night stay at La Berge in Baton Rouge. And what'd you think? Well, we came on a Wednesday night and it was a little slow, but uh, as far as the overall casino, I liked it. Uh, I think uh, the high limit room could have a few more games uh, in it. I like the La Berge. It went from, it was kind of weird, the high limit room. It went from like a $5 denom to $25. There weren't really any like $10 denoms or anything like yeah, that. And they had some old school pinball, but it was more $1, $2 um, on the main floor and $5. I guess they did have $10. They didn't have any $25, but um, we did okay. Yeah, we did, we I did. didn't we do did. okay. Mike did okay. <laughs> he pulled us out. At the end of the night, you know, we, we were just a little bit down, I think. And I mean, overall, you had some good wins. Yeah, I did. I was yeah. up to like 900 before we went to bed. So that... No hand pays, but we didn't pay play high limit. We were playing, you know, 88 cents to $5, really. Yeah. That's what we were playing. So it was a good time. The room was comped, um, and they took care of all of our food and beverage except for our resort fee because um, we're not a high enough player here to get that resort fee comped. But the room was comped, and they paid for all our food except for the tips. Yes. Yeah, so we feel good about that. So on to the next stop. See you soon. Cheers. Cheers.